So it is a new year. It's a time to reflect on our pasts and our futures. So it's about, shit, that took a long time. It's about seven. The university just reopened. We have whiteboards. So that means a video is going to happen. Oh. Mama, we made it. All right, so we found a room and I think it's time to talk about New Year's resolution. My goals for this year, for this channel, are to reach 100,000 subscribers and to get as many software engineers, students, engineers, offers at companies, big four, other software engineer companies, offers, as many as possible. And for me personally, my goal is to be a great teacher, an energetic teacher, and also very clear and concise and, and just a good teacher because I feel like a lot of CS videos and these videos for these interview questions the people that are teaching are really boring and that's one thing that really sucked when I was learning that even though they taught well I really didn't want to watch the videos I think my videos are still kind of like that because these questions aren't that interesting they're necessary to like get a job and stuff which matters to people so that's my goal for this channel and yeah I'm probably gonna like do an annoying pitch to subscribe every video so if you're not subscribed subscribe and um, yeah Let's get into today's video. All right, so today we have a classic stack problem. This is a textbook problem called balance parentheses. So sometimes you get this problem, you get just a single parentheses like this, but in this problem we have three types. The way we solve this does not change. It's just we have three types of parentheses now. So the question is, write a program that tests Given a string of parentheses, different bracket types, is this a balanced string? Is this balanced? So for example, this is balanced. You can see th these two brackets pair up, these two brackets pair up, those two pair up. This is not balanced. The outside two pair up, the inside two do not pair up. And now, do you see outside, pair up, pair, pair, and then here, they do not pair up. So we know this, okay, this is a classic stack problem, cool, that makes sense, but I want to go through the intuition, and if you did not know this is a stack problem, what is your mind doing when we're solving this problem? This is critical when we're solving this, so let's walk through a little example to see what your mind does to solve this. All right, so let's look at this example right here. Is this balanced or is this not balanced? I want you to look at this string and tell me, and I hope I didn't write it bad, but let, let me give you a second and just think about this, like, is this balanced or not, and see what your mind does. 2,000 years later. All right, all jokes aside. Okay, so when we look at this string, what your brain will do to see if it's balanced is it's going to look for something critical. The critical thing here is when do we open a left parenthesis. So let's see. We open one here. We open one right there. We open one right here. We open one right here. We open one right here. And then what do you notice? You notice that we get a closing parenthesis. And what does that mean? Our brain says, if we are closing a parenthesis, two things need to happen. It needs to be the same type as what it is closing, it needs to be the same type as what it is closing, and it needs to be matched to an opening parentheses. So for this example, if we see a closing parentheses, we know this is one of the three closing parentheses types, we know that it has to match up to the most recent, the most recent left parentheses that we see. That is what it has to match to, and as you can see here, let's use a different color. As you can see here, they neutralize each other, and now the next parentheses that we need to worry about is this guy, he has not been closed. And then you see here, there's this closing, and these neutralize each other, and now we need to worry about these two. So we keep advancing, this is neutralized, this guy, he neutralizes him, that's fine, they're the same type. And then we see him, but that's an open parenthesis, wrong color. And then we see him, that's an open. And now do you, do you notice something? We're keeping track of the opens, but the most important one, the one that matters to us, is the open parentheses right here. The most recent open we see, because that's what will match to the next closing. So we see a closing, and what has to match to that is the most recent open. We have not even gotten to a stack. We don't even, we're not even thinking about a stack right now. We're thinking about how is this solved without anything. So now, all we have to worry about is this guy, and what do we see? This is the last, this is the last element. 
What do I need to expect? The most recent opening bracket is right there. It's not the same type. And what do I immediately do? I immediately know that this is not a balanced parenthesis string because I reached the end of my iteration and I'm not able to close this off. I do not close this off with the right bracket and, and we reached the end of the iteration, but more importantly, we have the wrong bracket type here and therefore this string is not correct. So do you notice, all we care about is the most recent left open parentheses that we see. And this is why a stack is used for this problem. Stacks have a last in first out behavior. We push, push an item, and the last item to go in is the first out. The last left parentheses that we see is the first one we care about. It is the first one we want to eject from the stack. That is why we use a stack for this problem. All right, so now let's walk through this using a stack. So now we're going to look at the each item one by one. If we see an open, we push it onto the stack. It is of interest to us until it is closed. And then when we see a closing, we want to know that the item at the top of the stack, the most recent open parentheses that we saw must be matched correctly. So let's walk through this one by one. We pick this first guy, push him on the stack. It's an open. It's another open. We push him on the stack. It's an another open, push it on the stack. And then it's another open, push it onto the stack. And so as you can see right now, we've touched four elements and now we have four items on the stack. And now we see a closing item. And we see, we look at the top item on the stack. Is it the closing for this? Yes, correct. We pop it or we could just peek the stack. We could pop or peek. We could use either of those from the API. And then we remove this item, it's checked off and we're good. And next, we see this closing. Peek the top of the stack, we're fine, pop it. And now we look here, check this, check the top of the stack. We need to see this kind of parentheses that closes it. We're fine, pop it from the stack. Check this, that's an open parentheses. That's an open, so we push it. And now, now we see a close. We see a close, peek the top of the stack, it turns out we're fine. And now we see another close. And peek the top of the stack, we have a mismatch. So if we popped, we'd have this, and then we'd have this. So what happens is we know immediately that there is a mismatch. We immediately return false because a closing parenthesis is closing a parenthesis that is not a match to it. And this is it. This is the balanced parentheses problem. You can give me any type of parentheses. You can just deal with this, deal with this, or all three of them at one time. What matters is the last in first out behavior and what do we care about? The most recent, la the most recent open parentheses. And that's what this is about. So let's look at the code and get to it. All right, so here's the code. Everything is very basic. So what we do is we get our input string. We create a stack. And then we create an iteration through every single character in the string, like we showed before. So what we do is, if we see a left, we push it to the stack. If you see a left, we push it to the stack. If it's one of these opening brackets, push it to the stack. If we see, if it's not a left, what we're going to do is see first. If the stack is empty, that means that we're seeing a right bracket and we have no left bracket to match it to. That means then it's not a balanced string. So if we just had a string of a closing bracket, then our stack is empty, there's no left to match it to. Then it's unbalanced. So we need to check for that case, an unmatched right character. And then we have our normal case where we need to ensure a match. So if we have an opening like this on the stack, we want to make sure that we have a closing. So if we have this, we want to make sure it's balanced to this. We peek the top of the stack. We don't remove the element, we peek. We, we see this, we need to make sure it's that. We see this, make sure it's that. This, make sure it's that. So we're ensuring a match if it is a right bracket in the first place. Left charge, we're going to pop the item. If it is a match, it will not return false. We're going to pop the item, continue our iteration, and that is the for loop. And then when we reach the end, we say we return the result of an is empty call on the stack. Why do we do that? We do that because in the case we have an unmatched left. So say we had two left, two left openings and then one right. The one right's gonna close this, but then we're gonna have one left opening left and that's not a balanced string. So this is the problem. This is the problem of balanced parentheses. Whenever you see parentheses problem, often we're either going to use a stack or we might use recursion if it's like generating parentheses, which uses the implicit call stack. So this is the balanced parentheses problem. Let's look at time complexity very quickly. All right, so whenever we are solving a problem, we want to think of the best case, the average case, and the worst case time complexity. Whenever we're declaring time complexity, always define your variables. So n here, n here is the number of characters in our string. It is the length 
of our string. We're going to be running in linear time, O of n time. As our input gets very large, our runtime of our algorithm will scale in a linear fashion to the input. We don't worry about constants, we worry about tail behavior of the way our algorithm scales. For the space complexity, if the string is valid, the worst case we're going to have is n over 2, but that still, we drop the constant, 1 over 2 gets dropped, we still have linear time, we scale linearly with the input. Because this is our worst case, we have a left, 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 and then we get closed by left, 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 left. We, we on the stack, we're going to push four lefts and get them all closed. But in, a, but in average case, you would open one, close it, open one, close it, open two, close it. And that still would have a size of eight, but the thing is, that is only going to have, what, two or three elements max on the stack, or that was a rough example, but you know what I mean? This is the worst case, if this string is valid, we're going to store half of it, but it still scares, scales linearly, still over. So the worst case, if we're trying to bound against an invalid input, is if we just have a string of all left brackets, we are going to put all the items on the stack. We're going to put all the items at the stack. Our last return will return false, of course, because the stack will not be empty. But we're going to have a string. We're going to put the whole string, which is n elements, onto the stack. So that is automatically O of n. So the worst case space for both of these is still O of n, and our space complexity is O of n. Um, and this is iterative. We don't need to worry about the call stack. So this is the time complexities. All right, so that's all for this problem. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, share this video. I'm trying to do a video every day. We are trying to get engineers offers. This is the goal. These problems suck to do, but I want to see others succeed in the interview. So that's all.